Hey guys, the boy here and welcome to Mod House. A game about a house with a lot of moths. Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. I'm writing to inform you that I am living far from here on an expedition. Unfortunately, I can't provide a location. I know this may come as a surprise to you, but please understand that this decision was not an easy one. If in a year you do not receive a letter from me, it means that I will not return. I hope that this will not happen. But if I still do not get in touch, then I have a request to you. In the attached letter there is a list with species of moss. Come to my house and catch at least one of each species, and then let them out of the house. But it's better if you press free them all. With all my love, you're that. Okay. I don't need to go back. So we're basically and just got a letter from our dad oh, we said if, we, if he don't return we should go to this house and catch a bunch of moths and then set them free i can sneak and i got limited matches i mean not limited but and burns out. Oh, I can eat. Uh huh. I got that net to catch butterflies. And that's it. I think I got that one, and that one, and that one. Now let's see what do I got. Uh, I've got one. It's a Caropia moth, five tiger moth, fifteen American dagger moth, twelve leopard moth, eight spotted forester moth. Hmm. Okay. Let's catch some more. Yeah, number is grow. Very nice. And let's go look for some more moths. A moth emit ultrasound as a way of communicating with other moths and detecting their environment. This ultrasound is typically measured in kilohertz, with an average value of around 30-60 kilohertz. The moth produces the ultrasound by vibrating special organs in its body called timbals. Interestingly, there are devices called bad detectors that can capture these ultrasounds, which can help in monitoring moth populations and their behavior. This is because bats, which are natural predators of moths, also use ultrasound to locate their prey. Mm -hmm, okay. 36 to look. Where is moths? It's so awkward, I have to open this up. A lot of moths over there. Hmm. I need a key. 
Come here. A big one. Another big one. And another one. What? And the duck in TV can talk to me? How is that? Though the moth is a species of moth found in North America, it is known for its striking appearance with large pale green wings that have a distinctive shape and pattern. The wingspan of the Lula moth can reach up to 11 centimeters, making it one of the largest moths in North America. The caterpillars of this species are so quite striking with bright green bodies and long, spiny tails. The Lula moth is primar primarily active at night and feeds on the nectar of flowers. <coughs> Looks like I found a crowbar. No recipes. I can cook. Interesting. everything whoa, 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 whoa. what was that okay That was unexpected. Let's see how much they got of them all. Uh huh. I've got around half of the moths, maybe a little more. What about now? Mm, nope. Same. Should be careful not to meet that one moth again. Moth is a ultrasound as way of the communicating. I read that already. Oh, 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 I remember that. That was the door that was locked. Second. Nothing's here. I need the key. Okay, let's go look for a key. Okay, this is the place. That moth was over there. Yeah, 
It's not here anymore. Oh, I found the recipe. Let's go check it out. a lot of moths. Let's go back to the kitchen and see what we can cook. Mm -hmm. Not enough ingredients. Okay, I need more moths. Let's just go and catch everything we can. I heard something big again. Okay, I can run. I should not forget that. Mamma mia! Found another recipe. It's patrolling. My goodness gracious. You have to be really careful. Where is it? Hi, Paul. It turns out the lingua moths has many abilities besides speaking human language. They're capable of... I don't know what, 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 what is there. It's dirty. So we have to report that I'm going to... I'm not sure if uh, I'll be back from there, but in the name of science, I have to check it out. I grow new types of moths in the basement. I hope that while I am away the house will not rot from a large number of different moths just in case. I'll block the entrance. If something happens then... Mm hmm okay, whatever it is. And there is a picture of moth. Hmm... Where is that big guy? I don't see him. Hello? Hello? <clears throat> Hello? Nothing. Okay, I can hear it. I can hear it. Sometimes. In a truly astonishing discovery, Mason Hart, the well-known moth collector, has discovered a new species of moth that can speak human language. Mr. Hart, who has been collecting and studying moths for many years, made the discovery while on a collecting trip in the Amazon rainforest. The moth, which has a unique wing pattern and body structure, was observed by Mr. Hart communicating in English. This incredible discovery has sent shockwaves through the scientific community and has opened up new possibilities for communication with other species. Mr. Hart has named the new species Lingua moth, 
and he has pledged to continue studying and protecting this remarkable insect. somewhere upstairs, but I think I missed it. A Mason Hart, the famous moth collector, he has won the Nobel Prize in biology for his discovery of the lingua moth, a new species of moth that can speak human language. The lingua moth's ability to communicate in English has revolutionized the field of biology and opened up new possibilities for communication with other species. Mr. Hart's dedication and passion for moth collecting and research have resulted in this groundbreaking discovery, and his work has been recognized as one of the most significant contributions to biology in recent history. Nice, and I've got the key now, I can open up the door. Whew. Yeah. Now that thing is scary. Now look, I think I've got all of them. Sometimes it's, it's so loud. Oh, it's below me. Okay. Let's catch them all. I've got some recipes. We can make some food. Oh, wait. Nothing here. Hmm, no way down. Okay, that's a library. And another way down. So I guess it's like a circle. I mean not a circle, but okay, whatever. Let's go look for a kitchen. <laughs> Basement. That's a basement, right? Oh, wait, that's a different one. Yeah, that's a different one. Oh, yep.
Wait, where is the next exit? Okay, it's over here. Where is that kitchen? The Cretanatos Genghis moth is a species of moth found in Southeast Asia, Australia and parts of Africa. It is known for its distinctive appearance with brightly colored Hind wings that are covered in long, fluffy hair like structures called coramata. Uh, the coramata are used by male moths to release pheromones that attract females for mating. The moth is also notable for its ability to vary the size and shape of its coramata in response to environmental and social factors which may play a role in mate selection and competition. Okay, 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 a radio. Found a radio. There must be a kitchen somewhere here. Good, 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 good. <laughs> They do with that. Hmm. I wonder. Maybe I should go and feed that huge moth. <laughs> See what's going to happen. Okay, let's go and do that. Well, at least we try it. can find you. Hey, Mr. or Mrs. Smart. Okay. Here it is. How was the food? Hmm. I'm still with that thing in my hand. Should I try and leave? Well, let's see. Oh, look at that, they can leave. <laughs> 